this is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. All right, on to the question. How do you focus on your journey while getting and giving support from others without comparing yourself to others? Great question, Wendy. Um, you know, it's no matter how much you have traveled in this on this road, <laughs> If you've come uh, a year to nine, ten years from now, from your journey, you're going to realize that comparing is something that is just so common to do. And you've got to put your mind into your journey just like you have to do everything else in your journey. I mean... The same thing, the same way you focus on exercise and how, what you put on in your mouth and on your plate and um, just so many things, right? That's the way you have to focus on looking at someone and thinking that's where I should have been or that's where I should be or that's where I'm going. Because, you know, all of us, I mean, every single one of us. <laughs> Uh, go through a process of why don't I look like her or why am I looking like this I should have already made it to that you know and it's hard our body type is so different you know everybody's body type is so different um, so many uh, obstacles everybody has their own obstacles to climb or or hurdle or go over or you know so many things okay so I know that uh, what I'm saying is just pretty basic right but we really need to stop and think before we even have the surgery that's that's one of the things that we're going to try also and put in our in our in our lifestyle is that we cannot be cookie cutters None of us, all of us are not going to turn out the same way. You know, that's just an impossibility, right? Um, the, the thing is to focus on the journey and not the destination. You know, focus on your journey. And when you get there, it's going to be so much sweeter, right? Joy is found not in finishing an activity, but in doing it. Doing what we need to do for us. When we talk to an individual, our friends uh, on YouTube, or um, someone that is also maybe the same amount of time, let's say you had your surgery exactly the same time this other person had it, and maybe they're losing faster than you, and you can't figure out what you're doing wrong. A lot of times, it's nothing that we're doing wrong. It's our genes. It's our 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 you know, the way our metabolism works sometimes. Um, so many things that uh, you cannot compare yourself to anyone, anyone's journey. And it's sad when we do because the reason I say it's sad is because I've been through it. I, I did compare myself many times, you know. Uh, I have a twin sister. And I feel... Uh, that she's doing an amazing job. She does so many things, you know. But I cannot compare myself, not even to her, not even to my twin, because we are two different people. And, of course, I'm going to say a quote. Do not under underestimate yourself by comparing yourself with others. It's our differences that make us unique and define just how special each and every one of us us are. Don't take that away from your journey. Don't take away the fact that you are special, that you are unique, and that there is no one else on this earth like you. <laughs> so that's an amazing thing. A lot of times I think that that's the problem. We, we, we're all wanting to be, you know, what this society says that you should look like. 
and we that's not the that's that wasn't the way it was meant to be you know all of us were meant to be different yes there's things about us that that we want to change um i think that's pretty common you know if you've heard me say it you've heard me say it. if you've heard me say it once you've heard me say it a thousand times <laughs> my hips if i could change them but the other day i had a gentleman we uh we went up to the mountains and this Pers this person, he's a dentist, and he sees people come in and out all day long. And we were discussing, you know, uh, how much I had lost and everything. And, and he said, you know, it's really funny that you want to slim down your hips. And I can tell you right now that when men look at you, they like them hips. And he's a man, so <laughs> he made a point. You know, who are we trying to, you know, mimic, really? I can't. I can't. I need to love myself the way I am and not compare myself. How do you focus on your journey while getting and giving support from others without comparing yourself to others? Uh, knowing that if I do that, that it's, it's going to rob me from my joy. You know? It is. The minute I start wanting what you have and not appreciating what I have, it has robbed, it has robbed me. And I'm not going to allow that. Don't you let that happen. Don't allow that to happen. You know, so many things that are taken from us because we allow it. We allow that to happen. When I speak to someone, I do my best not to compare anymore because I used to do that. I, I'm coming from a place where what I used to do. I used to say, oh, but why can't I look like you? And oh, your legs are beautiful. You know, the first thing I, I look at is people's legs and, you know, kind of drool over them and go, oh, I wish I had that. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I really am. I'm just being honest. But with the years that I've traveled and I've processed with friends and I've done videos and talked about it, I've come to realize that that is stealing my joy. I'm no longer focusing on the happy life that I'm living now as mobile as I am. Um, you know, it, it, it's robbing me and I'm not going to allow that to happen. When I wake up in the morning, I was talking to a lady the other day and I was telling her that when I wake up in the morning, first of all, I'm very grateful that I woke up alive. And second of all, I say to myself, I choose to be happy. And one of those reasons is because for so many years, I would wake up unhappy and wonder how the day was going to turn out. In these years, recently, because like I said, I'm not perfect. I was comparing myself for many years and uh, I will not allow that to happen anymore. I will not allow my joy to be stolen. Um, it just makes for an for a very miserable life when you're constantly I'm not saying you know we, we still have to live the journey right we still have to live the journey the lifestyle and you know there's changes to be made every year you know you know if we get a little uh, heftier or whatever we're still doing the journey we're still exercising and trying to to better our body but not compare our body I hope I said something today. I love you guys, and I'll see you next Sunday. Go out and be the best you, and you know what I say. Forget about the rest. Forget about it. <laughs> Bye, guys.